Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the ice maker assembly in an LG refrigerator. It's going to be very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new ice maker assembly. This automatic ice maker assembly is located inside the freezer compartment mounted to the ceiling. It produces ice cubes and drops them in the ice bucket. If you open the freezer and reach in to grab some ice cubes, but there's nothing in there, you better check the ice maker assembly and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. To remove the ice bucket, we're going to lift up this front end and slide it out. Well, before you do that, make sure it's empty. Now I'm going to lift up the front end of the drawer and pull it out. Next, we're going to remove this uh, freezer basket. I'm going to grab it right here and uh, lift the uh, back up and we're going to take it out. Next, we need to remove this freezer door. And uh, to do that, we need to take out uh, two Phillips screws, one on each side. And uh, for that purpose, I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to take out the screws. Next, I'm going to grab the door. Uh, don't grab it by the handle. You give me a break it off. So I'm going to use this and uh, just support it here on one side. Lift it up and we can take it out. Our next step is to take out this connecting rod and uh, the gear. I'm going to pry it out with this uh, flat blade screwdriver. And I'm going to pull out this uh, rod from the opposite side. And we can take it away. So this is our ice maker assembly. And uh, we need to take out two Phillips screws, one on each side, so we can take down the ice maker. I'm using the Phillips screwdriver. And uh, I'm going to take them out. All right, next I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to release uh, two clips, one on each side. There's a slot here. I need to insert that uh, flat blade screwdriver right there and uh, open that tab here. All right, so this is the second slot. I'm using the same flat blade screwdriver. I'm gonna pull this on the side and pull it down. And now I'm going to pull slightly down on the ice maker assembly and pull it forward. We got a couple of clips at the back, so we need to disengage them. All right, that. So we need to disconnect the plug. The tab is on the top, the locking tab. So reach in and go all the way back and then push down on the tab so you can pull out the plug. All right, so now we can remove it. This is the old ice maker assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so before installing the ice maker, I'm going to show you a couple of points. First of all, this is the on off switch and make sure it's in an on position like that. Then there's a uh, one more switch here. This is a, a test switch. By pressing it, you bypass everything and the ice maker will start immediately. That's you can test if everything works fine. Now we're going to install it. And uh, we need to start installation with plugging that thing into this outlet. I'm going to grab it and insert it. Make sure it clicked and it's locked. Next, we're going to install the ice maker. 
into the rear slots here, the back. So make sure you press it in and slide it back. Like this. Press it up so the tab's locked. All right, so using the Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna install uh, a couple of screws. Make sure that the ice maker is turned on by pressing that switch in uh, position right there. Now we can install the connecting rod. I'm going to slide first this end into the gear on the left side, all the way in. Then I'm gonna make sure that the both rails are pulled out completely. I'm gonna slide the gear on. The teeth on the gear should, should match the cutout on the rail at the bottom. And then you can press it in. All right, so I'm gonna install the freezer door under the rails. So I'm going to uh, put these uh, hooks at the back first. And I'm gonna lower down the front part. All right, now I'm gonna secure these uh, with this couple of Phillips screws. We're gonna start on this left side using the Phillips screwdriver and tighten it. Now let's install the freezer basket back in. I'm gonna slide the sand down and then uh, the back goes in. And now I'm gonna install this uh, freezer drawer and place it onto the rails here. and slide it down. Let's see how it uh, rolls in and out. Okay, all right, to install the ice bucket, we need to fit this curve into this curve right there. And that would be very easy. Place it down. And now we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.